In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a business email and how to set it up on Gmail for free. The business email will give your company more credibility and make you look more professional. I'll show you how to create up to 100 email addresses at no extra cost. By the end of this video, you will be using Gmail to send and receive emails for your business email account. Let me show you how you can do this in five easy steps. Step one is to set up your domain name. To create your business email, you need a domain. A domain is your website address. For example, prowebsiteacademy.com. And if you click on the link that is in the description, you can come to the Hostinger page where you will have up to 100 free business email addresses, a free domain, and website hosting. I personally use and recommend to all my students Hostinger because it's one of the most affordable uh, website hosting and email providers that you can find and is super reliable. If we scroll down, we click here on Add to Cart. Step number one, we select the plan that we are using. On this case, I'll select the 12 months. In order to get the free domain, you can select this or even a higher plan if you want. Step number two, we create your account. You can log in using Facebook or Google, or you can just add your email address here. Next, we select the payment method, and you can get an extra 10% off if you use the coupon Diego Davila at checkout. Excellent, I'll go with PayPal. You can choose the one that you want. Click on Submit Secure Payment when you are ready, and follow all the steps on screen to complete your account and confirm your email address. Step two is to create a business email address. Here we are on the Hostinger H panel, on the control panel of Hostinger. So if you want to access these, you can always come to hpanel.hostinger.com. And here at the top, we have the top menu where we can see emails. So I click on emails here. We will see our domain in here. In your case, you will see your domain. And we click on manage on this button. If this is the first time you are clicking on manage, you will have two main options here, one on the left, one on the right. Click on the one that is saying free email. After that, we are here on the emails. We see emails account. Here is where we can create more email accounts. I come here, I click on create new email account, and you see that we are also, we are ready here to create emails on your domain. So we have up to 100 emails account that you can have for free, not for free, included on the plan here on Hostinger. So let's go here and we can do contact at prowebsiteacademy.com, for example. I'll choose a password for this, and I'll choose an email, a recovery email address for this account. When I'm ready, I click on create new account, and now we have this account created. You can repeat the same process if you want to create more than one business account. Step three is to access your business email. To do that, we click on access webmail here on the page, or if you can, if you don't have this link, you can always come to this address that you see here on the on the on the bar, saying hostinger.titan.email/login. Don't worry, you won't have to log in here often because we will be setting up this email on Gmail. So this is only one thing that you need to do once, and that's it. So enter here your email address and your password that you just created. I click on login, and you see that we are now going. Uh, on the we are right now on the wet mail option so here we are this is the wet mail and here i can just access and read the emails but now we are ready for the next step which is to add this email address this commercial this business email address to your gmail account step number four adding your business email to gmail here we are on gmail i already log in with my account i go to settings click now on see all settings and we choose the fourth option, which is account and import. Click on add email account. In here, we have a pop-up where we can add all this information manually, and this we need to do only once. So enter your email address that you just created. On this case, in my case, is contact at prowebsiteacademy.com. Click on next. Click on next again. Here we have some information, username, your username is your complete email, enter your password, 
And here in the pop server, we need to correct this. We are changing and we are getting this information from your webmail. So here we are on the webmail, click on the settings here and click on configure third party apps. And we see an article where we have that information. You see configure pop address. So this is the one that we are using pop at titan.mail. Okay, so type that here. The port number is 995. And we can always use the secure connection and also remember to click label income messages. This is important to separate your business emails from your regular Gmail emails later here on this video. Excellent. Everything went well. We see your email account has been added and it's asking now if we want to use this email account, this business account to send messages. And yes, we can do that. So click on next. And here we add the name of the inbox. So if this is a contact, a support a email, you can add here support at your company name, for example, or if this is an employee, a person email, that you can use the person name here. In this case, I'll leave my name and I uncheck, treat this as an alias, click on next step. Excellent, here we have to configure again. Now we need to configure the SMTP server, which is the, the server that will send the emails. So we come back to the article, we copy this and paste it here. We add your email again, contact at uh, pro website academy com and the password excellent make sure you you check the ssl connection and the port number is 465 on this case 465 at account let's see hopefully it will work yeah it's working so this is the last step that we need to con to do to confirm that this email is that this email is your email so gmail will send you an email with a code on your new business address so you need to copy that and paste it here. So we go to Gmail, actually we go to the what mail, open the email and here is the code. Copy the code, paste it here, verify. Excellent. Now we completely add the email to your Gmail account. And to, con to confirm that we come here to settings, account and import. And here we have contact at prowebsiteacademy.com. This is the one that we just add here on this video. It's important that you make sure uh, that you have checked reply from the same address the message was sent to. So if somebody sent you a message to your business email account and you reply on Gmail, e Gmail will use your business email to reply this message. Last step, step number five, is to add a label color here on Gmail to make things easier to identify the messages that you receive. You immediately identify this is a business message, this is personal, so you can divide that very easily here on Gmail. Let me show you how to do this. Here we are on Gmail. We already add the account. We see the label here under labels, contact at prowebsiteacademy.com. You will see your email here. And what we do here, is we, we click on the three dots and we go to label color and we change the color. You choose any colors that you want for your business email address. So if I choose blue, I know that all the messages that have the blue label are coming from my business email account. If you want to create your business email address, click on the link below, follow the steps, and I hope to see you in the next video.